Hi, and welcome to our search app. This feature allows you to find and grow your influencer community while keeping everyone organized within lists. To get started, go to the upper left-hand corner and click the drop-down. Using the plus sign, you can create and name your brand new list. When you're getting started with Upfluence, you'll see my first list, but don't worry, you can change this name. I like to label mine clearly with niche, follower size, platform, and location. You can also archive your old lists, and if you have multiple seats in your account, you can choose what to share and what to keep just for you. There are three main components to the search feature. If you've already worked with influencers, you'll want to start by adding your existing influencer contacts into your influencer community, so you can manage all of your influencer marketing in one place. It's best to create a specific list for this purpose. Use the CSV file upload feature on the right to bulk migrate them all into your community. In my example, you can see that all we need for each influencer is the profile name, media URL, and their email. You can export this sheet as a CSV file and then upload it for the influencers to populate into your current list. Click here to download the example to follow. Next up is our Google Chrome plugin, a favorite amongst Upfluence users. Installing this extension on your Chrome browser will allow you to review profiles directly on different social media platforms and add anyone with a public profile straight to your community. When I'm on Instagram here, I can click the Upfluence extension to get the analytics of this creator. From here, I can add this influencer straight to any of my lists by clicking Add To. Good news, we've just made our largest database update to date, providing access to data from all public profiles with more than 10K followers. But you can also use the plugin to add nano or niche influencers who are not yet in the Upfluence database. By revealing the side panel and pressing Add Influencer, Upfluence will start scanning their data and they'll be visible within your community. The third way we can add influencers is with Upfluence's internal search engine. You'll notice we have three curated lists to get you started. If you click on any of these, certain filters will automatically be applied. You can see the filters underneath the search bar right here where you can edit and delete as needed. Today, let's start from scratch to narrow down our search. There are three drop downs, but let's begin in the middle. Select a particular platform, and for today's search, we'll target Instagram. We can select multiple platforms at once. However, as this is an or filter, I prefer to search one platform at a time. After selecting Instagram, you can add a following range. My upcoming campaign has a tight budget, so let's target those with 10 to 50K followers. Next, you can set engagement. A good rule of thumb is to start with 2.5% minimum average engagement. Here you can also choose to find when they were last active and their minimum follower growth rate or minimum engagement growth rate. You can leave these blank or select one or the other. Don't shoot too high. Let's add one to minimum follower growth rate to make sure they aren't losing followers. Moving over to the next drop down. With Upfluence, it's easy to contact creators at scale via email. So to be time efficient, always click on show only creators with emails. The influencers that share their email addresses on their social media are the ones that are actively looking for collaborations and are sharing that this is their preferred method of contact. There are many other filters that you can play around with here. Some are set up based on the influencer themselves and some are based on their following for Instagram and TikTok. So you can decide what metrics are most important to you. If needed, you can filter by country and at the bottom you can choose to exclude your other list to ensure you're only seeing new influencers in your searches. Once these filters are set up, head over to the search bar where you can add keywords, hashtags, and mentions. It's important to remember to use terms that creators are likely to use in their content rather than how you would describe them. If you're unsure, have a look at the captions written up by your ideal influencer for inspiration. If I'm a makeup brand, I won't search makeup. Instead, I'll type the names of other cosmetic brands that I align with, or particular beauty trends or new launches within this space. If I'm selling homeware solutions on Amazon, I can search for popular Amazon hashtags, such as hashtag Amazon finds. If I want to partner with someone of a particular profession, I can type dermatologist, barista, or comedian and search in their Instagram bio for really specific results. 
one to six search terms are the sweet spot and feel free to utilize the two drop downs here for condition and search in, which will tell our system where you want the search term to be found. All your results will show here where you can click to find out more and give them a tick to add to your list. Make sure to save your favorite searches so you're not starting from scratch next time. Thanks for watching. Play around with the search tool, trying multiple combinations of search terms, and don't forget to check out our help center.